All right, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here with Noli, and welcome back to some more Alun. So I'm making this quick video just because me and Hollow are going to go see Chapter Two. It. So this is probably the only video I'm going to be uploading for today. But we have new rewards. Finally, they've updated all our rewards and stuff like that. They finally gave us a new event. Thankfully. Which is this Russian Roulette. This is kind of the same thing that Dragon Blaze uses in the way. Uh, under Gameville. Mostly under Gameville, Dragon Blaze has always used like their whole Russian Roulette wheel stuff. But yeah, it seems like I extended my t spins for today. So yeah, these are the rewards you can get on it. It's actually pretty decent to be honest. You have a chance to get five. Okay, they're not selectors though. For like seeds, you can get stamina, which is probably what you're going to be getting often. But that is not a bad thing because you know more farming. And the best thing on here is probably the legendary book and the epic book. Both of those are the best thing to get on here, personally. I hate that music goes quiet when you're not in there. It just seems so awkward. But we also have another special event that's pretty much like the summer event. Let's hope we can get the fall one right now. Because I honestly do want to see what it looks like. Oh, there it goes. We got it. Sweet. Okay, let's go see what it looks like. I think I do have to restart the game just for it to, like, pop up. Oh, we got a Tid Summon. I didn't even realize. Nice. I guess we could do that at the end of the video. What do we get from here? Something I can... Oh, okay. What? I actually like that character just from like it removing debuffs. And plus I'm pretty sure he removes buffs too. So the thing is, they need to start... They have to start keeping up with like new events every time. You know, even if they're like minor events. This community, for some reason, was in the uproar about there not being an event with the whole um, desert one, I think. So, you know, community really likes to do events, especially events that give rewards. You'll see it often inside of Dragon Blaze, you'll see it often inside of, I think, Water Tactics? Is it, is it Water Tactics under uh, Gameville? Wonder Tactics. At least I'm pretty sure it is. Oh no, it's under Comp to us. Okay, never mind. Well, Comp to us sometimes gets ads on Gameville stuff, so I get eh, whatever. But yeah, <laughs> events, logins, you know, they gotta keep up with at least giving us something every week. You know, keep it fresh and new, keep players one to get on and stuff like that. I've seen a lot of people pretty angry about them not doing like the event with this which was like really weird all right lobby oh here it is we didn't have to start over good hey i won't lie i kind of like it i really like it i think it's a lot better than the summer one well actually Yeah, the fall one's a lot better than the summer one. Probably just because I don't see any water around. <laughs> I'm picky. Alright. So. Pretty sure that's it, right? Oh yeah, we got fusions. Fusions, finally. I'm actually building this character. Because I have an evil idea with her. Like, she combos really, really well with Weiwei. So basically, what I've done for my team... Let me go ahead and explain this before I go into that. Basically, I use Weiwei's attack buff. Then I go into her HP buff. For anybody who doesn't know what this character does, she increases max HP with her third skill. So now we have max HP for, like, 
three turns. Four, I think, if you max it. And that, that max HP is actually pretty damn big. I think it's like, I think it gives me like, I want to say 17,000 HP just by using it. Could it be more? I guess I'll do a run and show you guys there. But then, after I use her HP, there's another thing you can do with Weiwei. You can use her second <laughs> skill. And it pretty much increases off max HP. So yeah, it's pretty much like comboing together and getting, you know, the best out of your buffs as you can. That's at least been my plan. It doesn't work too well inside of the freaking overpowered plant monster in stage 11. Because he has a healing freaking... Yeah, he has that healing plant BS going on. So, you know, I can't really have too much fun with that. <laughs> so, I'm sad about that. Ugh. Hate this thing. They're supposed to be making more stages to this, too. I also hate it when, it's, when I hop on and it goes to straight to 11, which is something I haven't finished. And I end up going in by mistake. Just stay at my last cleared, please. Like, stop trying to force me to go into a new one. By mistake. Okay, nothing new. Alright, let's go ahead and start fusing. Alright, I'll take that. This owl again. <laughs> every time, at least once every video, we've get we've gotten that owl. He just doesn't want to leave us alone. He's just like, nah, dude, please build me. Ah, nice. I'll take it. Now we can get her to plus two. I think he's plus two as well now with that. Okay, so that's it for now. Yeah, I was gonna do that, but never mind. Out of give me four points. Oh, I haven't actually got the owl as often as I thought. Maybe as five star, I've gotten him pretty often. And I thought I had him pretty far. Where is my Anubis? I also learned that Scotty's actually pretty good. Like, he's actually pretty decent. Okay, making sure I was on the right one. Okay. Even though this guy is kind of like a Russian roulette type of situation. That's all going off max HP. Yeah, I don't really like Russian roulette characters like that. Oh yeah, there was a character that they said they had changed. Because their seals were mistranslated, and that's what forced them to put in the recall system. Where is she? Because it was a character that I said I was going to build one day. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this she's still a substitute for Weiwei. 
actually. Wait, does it stack like 90% for each card? Or is it just... Or am I misthinking of that? Now I think I'm... Hmm. Some card, some like skills are misleading. Or you feel like it's misleading. Hold up. big as I thought it was. Okay, so she's not somewhat of a substitute for Wei Wei. I mean, she's a good damage dealer, or a damage increaser if you uh, don't have Wei Wei. I guess, I guess she would still be kind of like a lower substitute compared to Wei Wei who has, um, where is she? Who has like actual percentage, I believe. Okay, yeah. Yeah, hers is just like a straight 90%. That other character is, is a flat number. Okay. Huh. Interesting. But you get 100% if you get her um, exclusive gear for it. Which I think would be pretty amazing. Yeah, it's going to be annoying trying to get those. I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, right now, I don't even think you can get it. Oh no, they finally have it in. So I'll be able to get a legendary um, somewhere this week. I just gotta attack it. Okay, I can do that. But yeah, that has been some more Illume. I probably need to end off soon before uh, Hollow gets here. So we're just going to do the 10 summon and be on our merry way. Ooh, legendary. What is it? It's been a while since we got a legendary, so... I'm excited. Are you fucking... God damn it again? <laughs> Dude, he's maxed out. Stop it. Every time with you. Unless we're gonna get higher tiers than max. There's no need for me to keep carrying him. Yeah, I heard that they're, they're actually going to rebalance him. To where he gets like, you know, stuff that makes him legendary worthy. Which I'm actually really interested to know what they're going to do. I hope they do something like really amazing for him. At least I'm hoping. Alright, guys. Okay, wait, hold up. Excuse me? Has anyone else noticed? Why does this go down by one if I go over here? It goes back up to. Okay, I'm confused. Anywho, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys on the next one. Uh, hopefully, they'll have a new character here along with a new banner. A character that's more interesting, to say the least. But, yeah, here's my progress before we end off. 
finally got her to level 60. Plan on, like, building her, because she's actually really damn good. Hey guys, we're back from going to see the It movie. It actually wasn't actually half bad, but I actually didn't get to put up this video just because he got up here early and <laughs> we just went to go see it. So yeah, we're just going to finish out the video here. Alright, we got this maxed out. So it's four turns instead. So I'm going to show you guys what I mean about the whole HP thing. Oh yeah, my Chloe's now plus three. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure she's going to get nerfed in the future, so I'll just, you know, try and do the recall system, get everything back. Well, actually, there wouldn't even be a point of that, to be honest. Unless I was to put something else into her. Uh, let's see. Do we have everything? Yes, we do. Alright, let's go. Hopefully we can get some necklace or rings out of this. But I'll basically show you guys what I mean about the whole... character thing. Well, the, all the buffs, I mean. Why she's so good at, like, HP buff. Well, the only, like, character we have increasing HP, from what I know. Okay, so first thing first, attack boost. I always try to make way, way speed a lot better than everybody else's. Then we'll go to this later. This is how much it's supposed to increase. Now that we have the attack buff. Now we're gonna go ahead and paralyze the boss. Oh yeah, and she attacks every every time somebody gets a crit. So her first skill is used every time she gets a crit. That's another thing. You know, she adds on more damage. So increasing her first skill is actually not a half bad idea. Okay, so now what I want to do. Go into her third skill. And this is how much everybody's HP is. A little bit more tankier, but we want to switch over back to Weiwei. Wei. And now, the defense is way more than it was. We don't really have to worry about too much now. Just because we're both tanky and we have HP. Yeah, her damage has increased by a little bit. Also, we have life steal that we can just add to somebody like Chloe. I'm kind of curious at how much damage she does now with that. And how much HP she gets back afterwards. Okay, so she gets like 22k back <laughs> just off the life steal. But if we were to increase that second skill, she would actually get a lot more. So I, I'm saying this this seems actually really good at like sustain at least. But we'll probably only have like one damager. Normally people try to go for like two damagers at least. This seems more of like balanced is what I would say, especially buff wise, just make us tanky, sustainable, sustainable. Okay, so I want to try something now. So you can stack these buffs onto each other. So you also have that and that and this on. So let's see his defense. The defense is like way, way higher now compared to everybody else's. But at the risk of getting a lot of HP stolen, we're just gonna let him go. Okay, is it still on? Yes, it is. So I can only use it next turn. Let's reapply this. We'll paralyze him again later. 
but right now I just want to see what happens if I was to let it go and put on Fahrenheit's armor. How much damage would you do? Would you even do more damage than this? Wait, immunity? Uh, I think you were supposed to take like some kind of damage. But I know these things are gonna try and kill, so let's go ahead and take those out. Since I still have the attack boost, so I can use this again. Without wasting Weiwei's next skill, I can do this. So it's easy to pretty much manage this boss around 10 without Chloe's, uh... Um, well, without Chloe, to be honest. As long as I have, like, my tank buffing me. Yeah, I'm taking, like, way less damage now. As long as I have a good attacker that's able to kill plants and everything, I don't really have to, like, you know, put everything into Chloe. So we're just gonna start paralyzing them again. But yeah, I just wanted you guys to see the HP difference when you use her. Nothing too special. But I'm pretty sure everything's based on her attack when it comes to like this HP. So once you like get her maxed, I think she should be good at that point. But they are talking about like an awakening awakening system coming to the game too, which I'm actually looking forward to. They said they don't plan on going past max, they plan on a growth system. Which I can't wait to see how it is. Reapply this. Because we still got the max HP going. Now we'll put it back on a max HP. To be honest, it's like really easy to manage after you put on Weiwei's buff. So it's not going to be too much trouble as the rest of the bosses have been. So I'd say it's a pretty high chance of like surviving. <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't bring her into Fox, though, because she might be trying to... Well, eh. Actually, the team's pretty sustainable. I was going to say you probably wouldn't want to bring her to Fox, because she'll be attacking her... She'll be attacking the one that deflects, like, physical damage back to her. I'm wondering what the Awakening tape is going to do. Will it change their skills in any way? I mean, it sounds interesting, to say the least. Put back on armor. I just want to see how much would you get back. Oh yeah, barrier's pretty high too. With way weights type buff now. There's just another basically HP added on, so I'm even more tanky. Along with her HP as well. So Faya really makes our team even tankier, even with the HP. Alright, let's see how much HP you'll get now. Oh. I didn't even get to see that, but she also killed it. <laughs> Personally, I like her. She's not that bad. It's probably the wrong person to get the kill screen, considering, you know, she kind of countered off that. <laughs> but yeah, overall, she's not a half bad character. Especially for a rare. But pretty soon, the legendaries are going to be getting, like, boosts and be way stronger. Been epics and rares, so she's probably gonna be mediocre until we get another HP booster that does way better than she does. Yeah, they have to land a crit for the user first skill. 
But yeah, hopefully there'll be another character that comes in that, you know, HP buffs all. That's way, that does way more of an increase, because that would be amazing. But I'm pretty sure she's the only one for now. And going to be for a while. But yeah, next I'm going to increase her first attack. You know, get that up. Uh, does she have gears? Oh yeah, she does. I gave her this to make her a little bit more tankier. And a little bit more resist too. So she'll always have buffs. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I almost forgot about that when I said that in uh, like the earlier, earlier like clip. But here you go. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.